just dropped $3,500 on the new Apple Vision Pro and have no money left for the official Apple case? Well, today I have two budget options for cases that are both worth considering. Let's get into it. First, I have this generic gray case. You can get this for about $25 to $30 on Amazon or $12 to $15 on AliExpress. This one is pretty good, especially for the AliExpress price of $12 to $15. The outer shell has a neutral gray heather uh, texture to it and a handle and a zipper all around. While the tops and sides are pretty sturdy, the bottom does have a little more flex to it, probably because the internal mold inside doesn't give it the same support as it does the sides and the top. Inside, you can see the internal mold to fit the Vision Pro itself, the battery, the charger, and an elastic Velcro band to keep everything in place. And on top, there's an extra zippered pouch for accessories. While everything fits pretty well in this case, I do have a couple of issues with it. One, I don't love how the battery compartment puts pressure on the battery cable when you slot it in. It's probably not a huge deal, but given the replacement cost for some of these items, it's a little more extra wear and tear on something that I would prefer not to have. Number two is that the mold around the headset and the light seal is a little bit too snug. With the front cover on and a 21W light seal, that means storing my headset in this case would put constant pressure on the bottom outer edges of the light seal. Overall, a decent choice, but a great choice at $12. The second case I have with me is the Ucarlos MetaQuest 3 travel case. Right away, this case is a lot smaller, about 30% shorter than the gray case we just looked at. The outer shell has a durable textured feel to it with a MetaQuest 3 branding on the top and a zipper and handle around the case, just like the case before. Inside, you'll see that there actually is no mold. This is because when you put the headset in, the whole thing will be snug enough that there will be no wiggle room. There's also an additional accessories holder that you can slot in uh, your battery and any other accessories. And this will keep the accessories from sliding around inside the case. And on top, there's also an accessories pouch as well. And to make sure everything has a secure fit, there's an additional elastic band with a clip to make sure everything is snug. My only complaint here is that using the accessory holder can be a bit cumbersome, but otherwise I love the fit. As you can see, the case takes advantage of the fact that the bands are soft, can be squished, and doesn't need to be spread out. Even with an extra top band, the headset can comfortably and snugly fit into the case. Overall, I'm a big fan of this case. You can get it for $25 on Amazon, and I was actually not able to find an equivalent on AliExpress. So there you have it, two budget cases to consider for the Vision Pro. I think the gray generic case is actually quite a good value at $12, but at this end of the price spectrum, I would spend the extra money for the black U Carlos Quest 3 case. I really think this case is a sweet spot for price and functionality. Let me know your thoughts on Vision Pro cases down in the comments below. And as always, I hope you found this helpful. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.